with Richard Reviews. Today we're reviewing a book for richardreviews.com slash griffinchestnut here on YouTube. Today's book Richard will be reviewing for us is titled Caliban's War by James S.A. Corey. This of course is um, from the Expanse series uh, which is now a uh, prime original series and um, this is uh, from the Wall Street Journal the, uh, who acclaimed from the, uh, prequel to this, which is titled Leviathan Wakes, um, this is the future the way it's supposed to be, Wall Street Journal. So this is the sequel to Leviathan Wakes, and, um, it is the second entry into the Expanse series, which by now is almost over 12 books. Richard has read a, not all of them, but he's read a fair amount of them. And, um, he, um, will continue to do his reading, uh, and upload and essentially give his submissive review and theory on all of the, uh, pieces that he's entitled to at the time. Richard, uh, did a lot of volunteer work in the upper New York region in the Adirondack Mountains, and he, um, did a lot of uh, outdoor nature work where he exchanged with the Japanese culture, ex culture exchange students that came into the United States through the United Kingdom, and uh, he uh, informed them on the passing of uh, the acclimated weather uh, in which this country is different than theirs. Uh, Richard also has done a lot of volunteer anthropology work where he uh, finished up his globalization theory and a uh, full review uh, thesis uh, which he wrote on the history of World War II and you can click the link in the bio for that complete set. Uh, this is Richard's personal piece and uh, we're going to talk about how he obtained it, why he obtained it, and when he obtained it. And he obtained it in 2014, and he completed reading it in that same year. So, he did uh, more uh, interesting uh, facts uh, based on his uh, slightly different story, where um, this obviously resulted in the creation of his uh, beautiful thesis that was uploaded to his blog in uh, 2014 as well. And uh, he did a lot of research um, based upon it where um, he uh, basically put these uh, beautiful microphones out into the wilderness and uh, the location of each microphone was um, explicit and uh, top secret to uh, everything that he picked up in a 3,000 mile radius in the New York uh, general area in upstate New York and uh, you'll be able to find all of his um, examples and research, uh, whether it's uh, conspiracy theories or monster theories, uh, you can find it online on his thesis, and it's truly magnificent, um, the way that it is brought to his, um, Christianity, and he's thankful for that. So, thank you, Richard, for that, um, beautiful testament to your dedication to such a outstanding, thoroughly uh, explicit world. Uh, Richard has shown that uh, good things come to good people and good heartedness. Uh, that's why he continues to delve into this uh, nature of uh, a beautiful world, and uh, he's able to do so through a uh, different style of cataclysmic event where he can thoroughly show uh, the beautiful nature of uh, this order where he would uh, interview the high priest and uh, it's mixed with a phenomenal science creating a beautiful uh, theory of what exactly uh, this uh, piece is referring to. So this is Richard's piece, we're going to talk about it and uh, we're going to get into just how good this piece is, um, and whether Richard liked it or not. Uh, so, front, front, f uh, first things first, you make some toast, and, uh, Richard likes this piece. Uh, two thumbs up, two thumbs way up, 
Well, we have the butt for Richard, and he loves this piece, okay? It really is a gorgeous piece, and a uh, very successful uh, sequel to Leviathan Waits. Um, as we go into it, it is a soft cover, as you can tell, and it's a pretty thick piece. It's actually a little longer than the, the first piece, Leviathan Waits, and um, uh, James S.A. Corey has yet again once been able to bring such a beautiful story to um, Detective Miller and James Holden. And you find out exactly what happens to them in this piece. Okay, a beautiful magnum, uh, sci-fi epic piece. It is short cover, as you can tell. And um, it does change. As you can tell, it's wavy, but the condition is great. Look at this condition. This is some immaculate condition from Richard. The way he keeps these pieces in, the, in this piece. It's just uh, undeniably, unbelievably amazing. The condition is pure. On the side, we have Caliban's War, James S.A. Corey, and uh, the Publishing Corporation Orbit of Science Fiction. Minor crease in the middle, as you can tell. Just minor. And uh, it says two up here because this is book two in the Expanse series. Okay, there's some brim wall up here. This is wear and tear damage, probably due to um, the earthquake or erosion in uh, the general velocity. And uh, this is really what, uh, when the, the story gets into a, a beautiful fundamental catastrophic uh, intelligence. Uh, here is some praise for the piece, as you can tell, and the uh, slight synapse of what is uh, brought into this beautiful piece, whether it gets to extraterrestrial environments or just a part of the world that um, James Holden and his crew cannot get a hold on and a grasp. Down here are the uh, other pieces as well. Um, in this Expanse series. Um, Richard has read a decent amount of them. He will be uploading as much as he can, as fast as he can. Please bear in mind, Richard is a full-time uh, author, uh, and he uh, does a volunteer work in the outdoors, so he's very, very busy at this time, but he will be on it as soon as possible. We have price down here. Um, let's take a look at the price. Seventeen ninety-nine U.S and twenty two ninety nine in Canada. So, um, a very appropriate price uh, for such a piece of this magnitude. And um, Richard has nothing but good things to say about this piece. It followed up the story very well. It uh, really did shine when it came to it. And uh, the characters really did, um, really did just as good of a job as the first one. Totally believable. And, uh, it's really a magnificent piece. Um, if we can get into a page count, an official page count, we have up here 590, so we can officially say, uh, fairly and hypothetical, that um, this piece, Caliban's War, is a uh, 907 page magnum opus uh, as the sequel to Leviathan Wakes, and um, there really is some enthusiasm when uh, you hear Richard talk about this piece. It's phenomenal the way it's the way it should be. So thank you Richard for giving us this beautiful piece. Thank you Richard for being able to obtain it and uh, we really appreciate everything you've done for us here uh, as well as James S.A. Corey, uh, the writers of The Expanse Theory and uh, this piece, Calvin's what the sequel, second piece in the series, The Expanse. So, thank you, Richard. Thank you, James S.A. Corey. And thank you, Richard. This has been a Richard Reviews here on RichardReviews.com. Caliban's War, James S.A. Corey.